What's up, MMA fans? It's the 206 Analysis here with the recap of Strike Force Melendez versus Masvidal. Uh, this is a recap of the main card, not the prelims. So I'll start with the with the first fight of the night, which was KJ Noons versus Billy Ivan Galista. I can never get that guy's name right, but whatever. Uh, with the fight, I was saying I predicted that Mo Noons was going to take the fight via decision, and I was correct. And I knew that. I knew that uh ah uh, fuck Evan Glazed uh was whatever I'll I'll just say that guy all right uh well that guy uh I knew that he would be able to take the barrage of punches but when I, when I saw him from the first round of the fight I was really surprised to see that Noons was straying away from the one thing that he need he could have he was needing to use to win the fight which was boxing which was range he was going in shooting for a takedown he got a takedown but near but for that rest of that first round it was just a sim it was easy to tell that with that it was easy to tell from the get-go that noons was not gonna have problems if he was gonna be in the clinch which you know Mauro Inello even said that uh, he needed to stick away stay away from the clinch and that's and the, that guy needed to keep you know that was his strength was using clinch work and that was right, and that was really 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 key the key fact of this fight. But after that round, Noon started really doing a lot better at with his takedown offense. And I'm gonna say I gotta give the guy freaking props, man. The guy can really he has really good takedown offense. Seeing seeing a guy's leg go almost go almost one eight one hundred eighty degrees in the air and not go down. That's very impressive. I have not seen BJ Penn ever do that. Okay, that, that's that's pretty admirable. I'll say that. So now uh, for the for the whole fight, it was really just mainly boxing, which you know none of them were really hurt, uh, and they all started really to start. They did start to gas down both of them, and they were really throwing sloppy punches, and they were all that all of them were connecting. But you know it didn't look like they were none of them were gonna go to go down. So uh, it was really. Uh, at the end, it was really uh, easy. I, it could have said, you know, some people could have said that, um, some people could have said, is that uh, that Evan Glacia won the fight. Uh, so it, you know, there, there'll be some controversy, but I think, but in my scorecard, I had it for two rounds to one for KJ Noons. So uh, there, there's that fight. Uh, let's go to the second fight. All right, this was a fight that was just, you know, I really, you know, kind of like, was kind of uh, disappointed to see. Uh, Hagar Musasi versus Ovin St. Prue. Uh, St. Prue, you know, didn't really have a, didn't have much of a, uh, didn't much have, didn't much have a great offense in this fight. You know, the third round he was able to steal, but seeing Hagar Musasi really pick, kind of like was able to stop takedowns. You know, he would really control the ground. But this fight really showed me that, that Musasi is almost done. He's definitely almost done after this, after this fight was over. You know, when uh, Mara Winella was interviewing after the fight, he asked him, you know, there's going to be the fight for Muhammad Lala. Uh, is going to be fighting. Uh, forgot the guy's name. I'll, I'll research that later. I'll put it in an annotation. Uh, he said, At, for the winner of that fight, you'll get, the winner of that fight will uh, face. I think it was supposed to get like Dan Henderson's belt. I don't know if Dan Henderson vacated the belt or not. Or no, I think he did vacate the belt. I'm staying on top of that whole like you know kind of that topic. But he said, "Do you would you want to have the opportunity of getting the belt back?" And Musasi was just very hesitant in saying yes. He was just saying, "You know what? There's other competitors out there. I think we should give him a chance." And that and again after I heard when I heard them him say that, I knew that he he agreed. That he didn't look, he looked not that great tonight. And he need that he may need to change his game plan up, or he may have to hang up the gloves because it's obvious he cannot beat, he cannot come into America, he can't fight in America, he can't fight in both UFC and Strike Force, he can't fight American co competition. He most likely will have to go back to Japan or go back to the go back to Europe and fight there, because he's definitely not going to be winning a championship in the U.S anytime soon uh so that was that's the that was the second fight now to the co-main event which was the women's featherweight championship chris santos versus hiroko Yama, yamanaka now this fight was too quick this fight ended in 16 seconds from tko for a from a tko uh favoring santos uh santos really just 
from the right in the get-go, it was just, you know, uh, Yamanaka made a really stupid mistake in throwing the first, really trying, like, actually trying to stand up with this woman, and Santos really just came back, you know, two with, with a hook and then another hook, which really staggered Yamanaka, and then she, then Yamanaka tried, continued, still tried, and then, and, uh, Santos really just kept banging, kept striking with her and hitting her with really good shots and getting her to the corner and making her just sit back onto the corner, just sit on the cage, you know, and just take these punches and the ref stopped it and she looked fine. She got up right after that. So, you know, and the judges and I'm, and I really, and again, I, you know, this, this card really made me ask questions, made me have questions to myself. You know, if I was a ref, I think I would have let the fight continue on because women, even though women are a lot more are a lot more uh, delicate than men, it's uh, we've that's what I've been that's what I've been told from relation from relationships that maybe they he could he may have made the right decision or he may have not made the right decision. I personally would have let the fight go on, and I would have. Uh, treated like the fight like it was another like it was a classic MMA fight which was normally with men fighting I would let the fight go on and maybe see see if uh, Amanaka could have gotten out of it and maybe could have done something productive but it looked like from that it wasn't going to happen but still I would have let the fight go on maybe a bit longer but again I don't know I wasn't I'm not that ref so what's done is done Santos won, is the winner via TKO in, in the first round from after only 16 seconds. Now to the main event, Gilbert Melendez and Jorge Masvidal. This fight was really just a simple, plain, simple boxing fight. Uh, only six seconds on the ground, from what my count. Uh, I turn I turn off commentary because I really don't. I turn off commentary because I really think a commentary can just be biased. You know, I've learned that from watching boxing and MMA. But I always turn I turn back the volume up when it comes to the at the end of the fight. So, yeah. So it was plain. It was just a plain. Melendez was really coming back with one twos. He won to me. He won all five rounds. Masvidal did a, you know, I, I Masvidal was really being. He was really showboating in the first few minutes uh, of the first round, and then he stopped showboating and started fighting, but still didn't really help him and didn't really help his case. And he really just got outboxed by Melendez for five rounds straight with those one twos which those are in boxing that is my favorite combination because I've always liked the jab and I've always liked the cross you always lead with that jab you use the stinging jab and then you come back with a devastating cross which I think that's one of the best uh, combinations and and it is the easiest combination to achieve which sometimes the basics are the best are the basics are the way to go so I like Melendez tonight but he he could have tried doing more wrestling, even though he it was a t he had a tough time getting Masvidal to the ground. But again, what's done is done. One, Melendez uses the one twos, wins the fight. I liked I liked seeing another boxing match because boxing is my favorite style in MMA, and it's my and boxing is probably my favorite one of my favorites, probably my favorite sport. But I'm I'm more uh, informed with MMA more than boxing because boxing again is a very tough sport to follow. So. That's my review of the whole card. Uh, what else? Is there something else I could say? Oh yeah, Mara Ranella, please stop. Mara Ranella, I think their their whole commentating. I you know I don't really like their team. I I I don't mind Frank Shamrock, and I don't didn't mind Pat Militich. I didn't listen, but I knew that they would have had they had some uh, with like fighters people who have fought in before have better insight than a guy who has only done uh, ring announcing and who has done some per some profession professional wrestling in the past uh, and so I think Mara Ronello should get the hell out of MMA I don't like Mara Ronello that much uh, what and uh, the ring announcer I really hated that guy's voice I forgot that guy's name but just, I hated him in the WEC and I hate, hated him even more now it's just the nose the little the nose like he's like this is five rounds in the in the light lightweight division like that really just I, I was just sitting there in like uh, in my chair just like jittering like saying like shut the fuck up shut the fuck up shut the fuck up shut the fuck up cause like his voice just really got to me so that's all I gotta say uh I like the card I think it's it was a good card but 
It was a good card. Not many, many of the fights. Uh, three out of the four fights went to the decision. Not the best way to end a strike force, end a, a strike force uh, card, which I've seen. Strike force has pretty entertaining fights. I think they've had better. They had some, probably some better fights than the UFC this year. So that's my review. I'll see you guys later. Follow me on Twitter in the description below. Check out my boys. My boy uh, 916 Chris's channel in the description below, and check out MMA Socialist uh, for the fans by fans. MMA site only made by fans and will always be regulated by fans. Alright, peace out.